Alex, you guys forced 26 turnovers tonight. That's been a hallmark of the Thunder, but also you know something that you obviously bring to the table as well. What was key in that tonight? Um, even I know, I know that's not like the outcome that you're going for, but what was key in generating those? Mm. Uh, I think we played a good effort. Uh, we played connected for the most part. And we just have a lot of guys that are, you know, good at getting deflections, good at anticipating, uh, playing passing lanes. Um, I mean, at any point in time, we got three to five guys that can, you know, guard the other team's best player or be in the passing lane on the backside. So it just was really, really tough for other teams, I think, to, to handle that. From a mental standpoint, in the first two games, you guys haven't had good, clean looks go down for you. How have you guys maintained um, the focus and the poise to just run and keep running good offense through that? Yeah, I mean, you just have to trust it. Um, you know, I don't think anybody on the team is one to force or to um, get discouraged on misses. You know, obviously everybody wants to make shots, and <clears throat> that obviously makes the game easier for you. But um, being able to control, you know, the rest of the game, the stuff that is is controllable, uh, is really big. And I think you know that's why we had you know, such lopsided victories in the first two games, even though we haven't made, you know, percentage-wise haven't been shooting the ball as well as we can. Um, going back to the tournament, obviously, like, being feisty, poking balls, it's like, that's obviously your brand. But being around this group, like, I wonder in what ways has that maybe added to your, your spirit at all? Like, your, your approach? Um, yeah, it's just, it's fun to watch. Uh, you know, usually teams have one or two guys, like I said, that, that do that, and I'm usually one of those two one or two guys on, on a team, but this team is full of um, guys that just love playing defense uh, and, and are really good at, like you said, getting deflections, getting steals. Um, and when you see guys play like that, you know, it just it makes it easier for you to have good energy and play hard. How's the visiting locker room? Do what? How's the visiting locker room? It's, it's the same as I remember it when I was in L.A. Uh, small showers, small bathrooms, but no, good, good to be back. Yeah, what was it like for you just coming back, seeing obviously the video tribute? Um, the reception from the fans, what was that kind of thing? It was nice. Um, it was nice, you know, uh, I talked to Red Shoot Around today uh, just about, you know, three years here, and I feel like I really gave it my all and put my best foot forward to try and have success and, and be a contributing member of the team for, for this organization and for the city. So um, for them to, to say thank you like that, it means a lot. Um, and obviously, like you said, like this is my second game with the new team. I've been with them for a month and a half, maybe – yeah, a month and a half, not even two months. Um, so it's a little, it still feels a little weird coming back here this early, uh, being on the other side, coming through the different tunnel, and then um, seeing, you know, so many guys on, on the Bulls that I still have great relationships and, and close relationships with. How would you look back at your time with the Bulls? I think, obviously, won a championship with the Lakers, um, but really ascended as like a defensive star in this league. Um, so just kind of how do you reflect on that time in your career? Yeah, it was, it was, you know, on a personal level, it was a time of great growth for me. Um, I was put in a position to be able to do a lot um, based on, you know, either guys being out um, or situationally me just working on my game and, and improving and, and earning the trust of, you know, Billy and the coaching staff. Um, and ultimately, my teammates, you know, they, they, they gave me a lot of trust, too, to go out there and, and play the way that, you know, I know how to play and impact the game. Um, and I just kept trying to build on that, and, and I thought I had a really productive three years for me personally, getting better. <clears throat> and then obviously as a team, you know, we would love to have more success. Like everybody plays the game to win, um, and, and we didn't win as much as we wanted to. But I, I thought I, I thought I left it in a better place than I found it. Um, I don't know if that's true or accurate, but but I feel like the energy and the effort I put forth mirrors that. And just last one is I know you were kind of. Joking around with some of the guys, uh, talking about getting steel on Zach, and then obviously had that strip on him to yeah, end the yeah, game. Yeah. What was that like? I don't know why he did it. He knew I was going to reach. Uh, yeah, that was, that's that's always good. And then I, I can't remember if I got another one or not. But, yeah, I missed a couple in the first game, so I was a little disappointed. So it was good to get a couple tonight and get you know get the average back to where it needs to be. Chet starts the season with back-to-back -back double – Double doubles, 16 rebounds tonight, career high for him. Oh, wow. What are your early impressions on playing with Chet? Yeah, I mean, Chet can do so many different things. Um, special player, you know, he gives us versatility, he gives us a uh, dynamic that not many teams in the league have uh, just with his skill. And then, you know, he, he's a 
he's a tenacious competitor. Like he he wants to improve. He wants to be better. He wants to be great, uh, and he wants to win. And you know, those are things as a young player um, are phenomenal to see. And then obviously as his teammate, you know, you love to see that too. Alex, from the couple times we matched up with him last year to, to now, I guess, how has your perception of him changed, and, and how does he make you look different as a player? Hey, who is who is that? Jet. Um, yeah, we played him so early last year. I, you know, you could tell he, he was still getting his bearings. Um, first game of the season of his his rookie year, uh, and then playing him a second time, you know, maybe a month or two later in OKC, he had gotten a little better. And then, you know, by the time I watched them play in the playoffs um, late in the year, you know, you could see the gr the growth was exponential. Just about, you know, him being comfortable, seeing how he could affect the game, um, and then you know, being his teammate now. You know, seeing all those things that I just described, really competitive guy, wants to win, wants to get better, like has a drive to get better and, and, and be the best version of himself. Um, that's all you can ask for in a teammate and, and basketball player. Obviously, like you play with AD, you see what that kind of player looks like, the mold. Is, what do you think Chet's ceiling can be in a suit, maybe? Yeah, I mean, the AD comparison is a tough one just because AD is so accomplished, you know, where he's at in his career right now. And, and Chet obviously has a long way to go to match that. Um, but I think he controls his destiny. You know, whatever he wants to accomplish in this league, he's he's got it in front of him. Um, like I said, he's got the work ethic. He's got the, the competitiveness. You know, if you, if you have those two things where you, you have the ability to get better, you have the want to get better, and then you have the work ethic to get better. Like, if you have those those things, you, you can control your own destiny in the NBA. Obviously, you and Josh would swap one for one. Um, just, you know, I, I think from, from where you see, you see the relationship he has with some of the guys that are still here, just what did you sense in terms of their approach when they were attacking him, baby tonight? Yeah, I mean, they obviously had the scouting report on him um, and vice versa. You know, Bulls, Bulls, my, my old teammates with me. Um, I think it was probably a little weird for him, too, just, you know, seeing so many familiar faces and having different matchups. And he got the best of them a couple of times, and they got the best of him a couple of times. And, you know, that's what good players do. You know, they look they look for weaknesses to exploit. But uh, you're gonna have to ask them about you know how they felt going matching up with his, their old teammate. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thanks, guys. Uh, uh, you guys forced 26 turnovers tonight. Mark's saying that's not something you're setting out to do. But what are the things that that you all set in motion throughout the night that allowed that to happen? Uh, can you hear me or am I good? Um. I think it's just like trying to be disruptive. Mark Mark made a good point. Like we're not trying to like reach and gamble. Uh, it's one of those things where like if you play solid defense and just maintain that, like you end up with nights like this, or you just have like they have to take tough shots. Um, tonight was kind of no different. Just trying to play as hard as we can defensively, and if that results in turnovers, fine. And if we can just kind of get stops, that works too. And it felt like they tried to really make the game you know, an up and down, very loose sprint. What kind of poise did you all display to <laughs> kind of corral the game into a style that you all wanted? I mean, we like playing fast too, so I think we try and have more of a balance of knowing when we haven't got a couple good looks in a row and trying to run a set. I think that was the biggest thing. The game kind of got away from us in the third. Um, and, you know, looking back on it, if we were – kind of able to crowd that in a little bit and get a couple more quality possessions. That includes me. I shot a couple quick ones. I think we would have been in a better space, but um, got the car back on the road, tried to slow down the tempo a little bit and get out when we could. Well, obviously, forcing turnovers was a thing last year, but you bring in a guy like Alex, who, you know, that was his brand before he got here. I just wonder in, in what ways has he maybe, you know, added to your fire to maybe reach for, for another ball, reach for, you know, uh, another block? Uh, I think it's – I wouldn't say he adds to me, like, trying to reach or go for that. I think it's just more – you see how hard he's playing and the way he's reading the game that you want to be in the right spot to help him out with that. And that's something that not just me but as a team we try and do anyway. So I think just adding him when you have somebody else that's solid on off the ball, um, it just kind of allows everybody else to be in good positions too. So it's not so much me trying to get steals or – do that. I think a lot of it's just more trying to rebound and make sure we hold people to one shot when we do play good defense. And, and Chet, obviously, I imagine last year's circumstances made you force you to grow faster as a rebounder at this level. But I guess where have you seen your growth in terms of um, tactically, whatever it might be, as a rebounder since last year? Um, 
I'd say a lot of it comes down to effort and attention. You know, when you're thinking about, you know, I need to get these rebounds, uh, you know, to help our team, uh, you know, and then you work hard for them. A lot of times that is the formula. Uh, but also there's some, you know, little tricks out there position and wise and, um, you know, other things that help you get better chances uh, getting rebounds. And then a lot of it is, uh, you know, spend a lot of time getting stronger too, which helps out. Um, you know, I'd say it's a combination, a little bit of everything. Um, and, you know, I just got to keep doing it going forward, uh, you know, because we can't run the floor and start our offense if we can't, you know, rebound and miss shots. So, yeah. Obviously, from, from afar, it feels like pretty much everyone on this team still has a relationship with Josh. Um, I just wanted to go into tonight, like, what was the approach with, with him, maybe the way you guys were trying to target him going in, into tonight? Uh, it wasn't like a targeting thing. Like, we don't – that's not how we play basketball. That's how you get caught up in – not playing the way you want to play. Um, I think it was just more having fun that he was out there. And um, I think everybody's just happy that he has a another experience, like a good organization to go to and be able to play his his game. But we don't go into games like whoever was here trying to attack them and do that whole thing. We just try and continue to play the way we play. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think you can get wrapped up in uh... – you know, the business of, of what this is because it is a business uh, and it's an extremely serious business, but uh, you can't lose sight of, you know, the relationships that you build with guys, you know, along the way. Um, you know, I don't think anybody's ever played with the same 15, 17 people their entire career. So, uh, you know, that's how the league works. Um, you know, people and teams have to do what's best for them business-wise. Um, and, you know, you can't hold that against anybody. Uh, and, you know, when you get to go out there and hoop against guys, uh, you know, that you know and you really like, uh, you know, you en you enjoy it, you know, all the same. Jalen? Uh, especially with some of the injuries you guys have in the early going, uh, you've had to play really up in size, even some center a little bit early on. Do you feel comfortable playing up in a position like that? Big man. Mm -hmm. That's why I gain weight. <laughs> um, it's just what's asked of me. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I think my biggest thing is whatever – the team needs if I got to play the five, four, somebody else has to do it too. You know, you have guys like Oos and Wiggs. You look at back at Oos playing when he was, I don't know what team he's on, somewhere in France or something. But <laughs> look back at him, he's playing the one. I played the one in college. Wig played like the two, the one. Like, you know, we have guys that nobody thought in the NBA they were going to play the five or the four, or whatever it may be. But we don't look at it that way. It's just like, you go out there with five guys, and everybody's kind of ready to recover, and it's just another challenge I accept doing. And I'm definitely not the only person playing playing that role. So. Whatever you guys, how much are you looking forward to opening up the regular season tomorrow? Today. Uh, um, <laughs> time is. Uh, we got two hours. I mean, obviously, we just finished the game, and uh, you know, you try to stay in the moment as much as possible, but. You know, now that's the next next step in the journey for us, and we gotta you know get ready, get home, get some sleep, wake up tomorrow, and prepare for that game. Uh, you know, we know how much you know it means to the fans, so it's got to mean even more to us. Uh, you know, to come out there and uh, be ready to play. Thanks, guys. But it seemed like the last six minutes or so of the second quarter really amplified even more. Can you tell me about that stretch of the game and what you saw there? Yeah, they played with great pace. So uh, when we when we were behind the ball. They were tough, but when we could get back and set the defense, uh, the guys did a great job on that end of the floor in some critical stretches, including that one. Uh, I thought we defended pretty consistently throughout the night on a night where you know we obviously didn't make a ton of shots, a ton of threes, missed a lot of layups, so um, needed our D tonight, and it was there for us. It seemed like it, it could have been easy to get pulled into sort of the current of how that game was being played, but offensively, you, you all you know continue to try to create good offense and get good shots, high percentage looks. Tell me about the mentality of the team. Yeah, I thought our mentality in the first half, you know, shots weren't falling early at the rim or from three. And I thought the guys did a great job of doubling down on um, our identity and the way we want to play. And then I thought we got, it wasn't poor intentions. I just thought we got a little casual in the third and then got it back going again. So uh, for the most part, a pretty good job uh, of staying in character by the team. And, you know, we got to continue to learn from that. We're not always going to shoot the ball well. Chet, I mean, just 
the rebounding tonight and something that he said he's taken pride in that he feels on the floor, uh, the strength that he added, particularly in his legs. What did you notice? Yeah, he was awesome tonight. He was everywhere, you know, especially on, on the interior. Did a really good job. Another you know, big matchup uh, with Vucevic, uh, and he really did a good job cleaning uh, the glass up for us. So played a really good game. You talked this season about how you're going to be fluid with the starting lineup and try out different things. Obviously, you had a, a different look tonight. Do you have a sense of how many different looks you might be looking for over the course of the season? Are you going to have a new lineup every game? Uh, we take it game to game, you know, so um, we definitely want it uh, to be fluid so that, you know, we take a look at a lot of different things and, and make sure we're, like, discovering the team and not – uh, getting too rigid too early because there's uh, a lot of players that we like and a lot of guys that have evolved since last season and we need to see how this particular team fits together um, and we're going to be aggressive about exploring that uh, throughout the course of the season. And you forced 26 turnovers tonight it looks like uh, obviously you led the league in that category this year do you think there's even room to grow in that area this season? Um, I mean, it's never an outcome that we're seeking. You know, it's not like we go into the game saying we want to force a lot of turnovers. We go into the game talking about our defensive intensity uh, and, and putting teams in a crowd and making them make decisions. And I thought we did that tonight. We, we forced them to make decisions, and uh, we benefited from that. But uh, the turnovers are an outcome of that. They're not, you know, the means to the end. Along the same line, I wonder, you know, based on what you've seen from Alex's demeanor and everything, when he's reaching, when he's, you know, tapping the ball from behind, like, is, is that contagious? Yeah, he's got just a great knack, you know, with his hands. And I think that's, you know, Shea does a great job with that. Dub does a great job with that. Kaysen does a great job with that. Lou, it's more with his chest. But, um, you know, we get guys with, with pretty active hands, and he fits into that category. And it's disruptive. It, it disrupts rhythm. And we're going to take a couple fouls doing that sometimes, but it's uh, we think it's worth the payoff. Many of you were asked this already, but um, we tried obviously um, he endured a lot last year with the, just the, the rebound discussion and you know some of the situations he was put in. But I wonder how you've seen him grow as a you know an individual rebounder since then. I mean, we hit it, but he's definitely. I think the strength is a big thing, um, and just the the pace of the game. You know, he's the game's long down for him. You know, on both ends, he did a good job. He got a couple of big offensive rebounds tonight too, or kept him alive at least. Anybody else? Thank you. Go All right, thank you.